my brothers and sisters in Christ, if there's one book in the Bible that the devil does not want you to participate in, to read, or even to gain wisdom or knowledge from, or some understanding, it is the book of Revelation. Because the book of Revelation deals with the insightfulness of where the church age is, where we are in time. It deals with prophecy. It deals with a revelation because when we speak the revelation, it is the revelation of what Jesus Christ told what was to come in the future to John on the island of Patmos where he was sent to be uh, 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 imprisoned. In other words, sent unto a deserted island or a place where it might have been others, but it was an island that they set people away away from the regular population of where he was originally from. But the devil don't want you to read that. He doesn't want you to have any knowledge at all because it not only reveals who Jesus Christ is, but it also reveals his ultimate destination. And if he can keep you blinded from it, then you will have no earthly idea what the ultimate end is. It's like having a book and reading it, a mystery, and then come to the last chapter where the uh, ending of the book will bring the fullness of what is going on or what happened and bring everything into culmination you stop reading and so you never know what actually happened and that's exactly what the devil desire that we don't know the end of the story only thing many of us know is that uh, I, I pray that one day I wind up in heaven I wind up in glory with the Lord but we don't know exactly what will take place before that and how many will actually fall away from the truth without even acknowledging it. And that's what the enemy desired to keep hidden uh, from us. But look what the book of Revelation says uh, in the very first chapter, uh, the very first verse it says, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants, which was John, things which was which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bare or bore witness of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ, and of all things that he saw in that revelation. Blessed, now get this, beloved, this is for you and I to, uh, to uh, ingest and to truly understand that God desired for us to know the truth of this book. Look what he says. Blessed is he, get this now, that read it, and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for time is at hand. Glory be to God. So the word of God says that we are blessed when we read the book of Revelation because it brings an understanding, beloved, of the time that we are living right now. And beloved in Christ, we are going to go in a portion of the book of Revelation 
that is declaring in the day of the time that we are living right now. And you will see yourself that God has a plan. That God doesn't make mistakes. And even though we think people grab power, beloved, it is the Lord who allows certain people power in order that his plan might come to fruition. Beloved, don't you realize that Judas walk his his adult life with the Lord Jesus Christ? Do you realize he truly had no knowledge, even though he may have read the scriptures about someone being betrayed, which it speaks about in the book of Psalms, he didn't recognize that that would be him. The other disciples did not recognize that that would be him. And beloved in Christ, God allowed people to be set in place without them recognizing why they're being set in place. And ultimately, just as Judas was, the Word of God says that as he sat with Jesus and he put his hand in the sop with Jesus and Jesus gave it to him and they recognized it, but they thought that a Judas was being given permission to go get uh, the, the whatever they needed for the feast that they were about to celebrate. But Jesus had told Judas, go and do what you do quickly. And the Bible says Satan entered him right then. Beloved in Christ, the book of Revelation has so much to share with us. And what it does, it put our mindset to be prepared for that which will uh, befall us. And we will not be caught unawares. And that's the reason why that enemy does not want you to be knowledgeable in any way of the book of Revelation. Because it is revealing who Jesus is. It's revealing what our ultimate destination will be. And it's revealing Satan's demise. And he does not want us to be aware of this. Beloved in Christ, join me as we begin this Sunday. In the book of Revelation, and beloved in Christ, it will open your minds to another place if you have never taken the time to do it. You know, I mentioned it to uh, a young man. I, I don't know if I said that before, but I mentioned it to a young man. The book of Revelation, and he s said that, uh, uh, oh, he said, oh, uh, that evil book. And that's how he looked at it. He knew the rest of the scriptures, but he called the book of Revelation an evil book. So that meant that he most likely stayed away from it. But beloved in Christ, God's got much for us to see, to learn, and to get us prepared for what is coming in our near future. Beloved in Christ, May the Lord bless you in a very powerful way. And I pray that you will get others to join you in our study of God's holy and divine word. And may the Father open your heart to his understanding in the name of Yeshua, Jesus the Christ.